coming up on this week's edition of Bulldog Broadcast. We find out how one local artist uses art as his voice and method to beautify our community. Our very own Oregon Mountain National Monument may soon be taken away. Find out why later in the show. Finally, we learn how LCPD is working to make our community safer. All unfolding in this week's broadcast. Good morning, Student Television Network, and welcome to this week's edition of Bulldog Broadcast. I'm Susie Theus. And I'm Mariana Guillen. This week, we're presented with the theme of Speak Out. With that being said, we're here in front of this outstanding art mural where the artist depicted a picture that paints a thousand words. According to arts.gov, there's 2.1 million artists in the United States workforce. They use art to express themselves and show how they see the world. Many of these are designers who contribute to the United States every day. With that being said, reporter Lorena Ortiz gives us the details on how these artists use their work to speak out. Art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time. Lorenzo Cepeda gives us an insight on artistry and how he shows his messages through his art. Um, it helps me express myself in that it's my, my realm where I get to play. Um, and then when we play, we're usually navigating through our emotions. Doniana Arts Council's annual budget is $250,000 to $500,000 a year to ensure performing, visual, and literary arts to help the community's education and economic growth. We're very much enlightened enough that, that we advocate for the arts. Uh, personally, there's not enough funding for it, but I feel like we can move in that direction and it's, it's baby steps. Lorenzo has murals all over Las Cruces, each giving out messages to our community about overcoming fears and conveying the message to fear not what you head towards, soon you'll learn the path rewards. Eventually you have to be your own person and there's no way around that except to encounter what you fear. But if you're willing to do that, there's rewards in that. And the more you face the things you fear, the more rewards you can extract from life. He also wants people to explore the art world, find their own passions, and to live the life that they would want to live, regardless of society's expectations. If you have a desire to express yourself, you have to follow that desire. You hope that the best that you can accomplish is you bring a sense of beauty um, to others, uh, as well as having an outlet to express who you are and what you've been living through. We must remember to never let fear get in the way of creativity. And as Henry Matisse said, creativity takes courage. Reporting for Student Television Network, this has been Lorena Ortiz. There are a total of 117 national parks here in the United States, according to Cora.com, with 12 of those being here in New Mexico. According to Fortune.com, President Trump plans to shrink two national monuments by up to 85%. Lauren Park travels to a national monument here in Las Cruces. The Oregon Mountains are an important symbol to the citizens of Las Cruces. The monument became a national park in May of 2014, and since then has been sharing its beauty with the community. But with Trump planning to save money, our prize monument may be taken away. With a budget of about $3 billion for National Park Services, the Trump administration is planning to cut 16% of the budget for the Department of the Interior, which houses the National Park Service, and another 7% for the Park Service itself. Chris Lang, owner of Oregon Mountain Outfitters, feels it would be a blow to the outdoor recreation community for the Oregon Mountains to lose its government title. It'd be a blow to uh people utilizing public lands uh, for hunting, game, fishing. I think it would be a, a detrimental in that regard. The company Oregon Mountain Outfitters has traveled near and far to speak out on this movement to keep this beautiful park thriving. We've gone and talked to our legislators. We uh, are constantly just um, engaging in our public lands and, and sharing that with our audience as well. To voice your opinion on the matter, visit protectournationalmonuments.com. For Student Television Network, I'm Lauren Park. While completing your forms this tax season, Ebbs, Roberts, Head & Daw can be there to assist you. Locally owned and run, the accountants there will work individually on each of your forms. Located at 715 East Idaho Avenue, they will ensure that you receive the best refunds this tax season and many more to come. According to NewYorkDailyNews.com, there has been a total of 18 school shootings in 2018 alone. Many people believe that we need to take better precautions when it comes to student safety. Mia Tonso Donati sheds light on the topic and how it affects students' learning abilities. In America, there has been an epidemic of mass shootings over the past 20 years. Through this past week, the issue has infected the Las Cruces community. Just a couple days ago, Las Cruces High School was threatened by one of its very own students. 
Right here was where they arrested Ernie Padilla, a senior, for possession of a butterfly knife and brass knuckles. Padilla had also posted a threatening photo on social media with an assault rifle. We take the threats as seriously as we can. We have training that's dedicated to our act active shooter scenarios. We have to be practical how we respond to those things. We, we've had a couple of uh, situations where we've responded to Las Cruces High School this week. Though the police are doing all that they can, parents are still worrying about their students attending school. I um, was very nervous. I think the um, adrenaline hit when I found out when she called me from the closet. And it's obviously a, a parent's worst nightmare of what could happen. We go over the RHF, the run, hide, fight model all the time. We talk about scenarios. We've talked about jumping out of windows. In fact, I had told her Thursday morning um, because I debated sending her Thursday morning. Um, you hear something, you see something on social media, by all means, take it seriously and report it. Since January, there have been 18 school shootings in America. To help stop this epidemic, please report any suspicious activity to the Las Cruces Police Department. Reporting for Student Television Network, I'm Mia Tonto Donati. Courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. Courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. A quote by Winston Churchill, meaning that speaking out is difficult but isn't always needed. Reporting for Bulldog Broadcast, I'm Mariana Guillen. And I'm Susie Teas. Thanks for tuning in.